I have created a mead making flow chart. Now this tells you how to make virtually any mead you ever want to make. It starts at the top. I'll kind of put some stuff on screen, but it starts at the top with a what ABV brew and it works its way down based off the percent you want to make. So if you want to make something six and a half percent or lower or six and a half to 14 percent or 14 or above, there are some extra instructions. You can kind of follow it along as you go along here. Is it gonna be a traditional mead? Yes. Okay, we go down this big long pathway and it skips a lot of steps because traditional meads are often uh, less involved because there's no fruit or spices. So then let's say it's gonna be a fruit mead. We've got some other questions, actual fruit or juice. And then you have some things there. Not a fruit mead. I have included a spiced boche and a braggot. Now, of course, there's other kinds out there. Like if you're making a pie mint, which is a, a great juice based mead, you're going to follow the path of generally a fruit mead, obviously, because it's a fruit. There's some instructions on what to do for your spice boche, braggot. Keep on walking down. If you need more fruit character, this does talk about racking and what to do and when and how. We talk about adding spices, more flavors, when to add those, adding oak to the brew, back sweetening, how to do it, carbonating, if you're gonna bottle carbonate it or not, or if you're gonna keg carbonate it or not. Basically, I spent a lot of time trying to um, make a very clear flow chart for you. And of course, there's a digital version. You've seen a digital version on here, and I've been kind of zooming in on it. There is a digital version that's not zoomed in, that's just there. You can download it for free. Use it as much as you want. I hope that it is a useful resource for you as you're trying to plan your brews. I did try to include at the bottom some terminology. So if you're brand new, you don't know what specific gravity is or ABV calculating, acid adjustments or acid adjuncts, back sweetening, racking, stabilizing, pasteurizing, asking yourself, can yeast still ferment? And of course, common types of mead. This flow chart is super nice and I have worked really hard, spent a lot of money uh, trying to get it to be cohesive. If you'd like the digital version, it's down below. Go ahead and download it, save it to your phone, print it out yourself, I guess, if you wanna try and do that. But if you don't wanna print it out yourself, I'm selling posters of it. This is a 18 by 24 poster. Now that's rather large and you're like, oh man, where am I gonna put that in my house? Good question. I tried to do smaller versions, but there's too much information on here and the text got too small. So this is the size that I'm selling. You can find a link in uh, the description to buy one. It goes to my website. If you'd like to get one, I will ship them myself. I'll get them printed and ship them myself to you. Of course, you'll get it within, I don't know, a couple days, hopefully, of the time you order it because I'll get them shipped out as quickly as I can. Yes, they're kind of expensive. Um, Shipping is not super cheap for stuff like this. So I, I know you're looking at the cost of it. You might go, well, I can't, I don't want to spend however much money. I think I'm going to have to charge at least 15 plus shipping. So it might be $30, $35 for you to order one of these from me. Um, so I get that that might be a limiting factor. What you can do, and this is the go ahead, you can download the file itself. And if you have a local print shop that you want to just have printed out, like have them print it out for you. It'll be a little bit cheaper, obviously, than buying one from me. So if you wanna go that route as well, get it printed yourself. You totally can, but if you'd like to purchase one, support the channel, I'll ship them out myself, get them to you as soon as I can. But this flowchart's been really helpful for a lot of beginners, and I hope it's helpful for people in general, not just beginners. It does walk you through the process pretty simply. The other thing on my channel, and this is a uh, even these are not limited because I'll print as many as I need of those. I don't have many of these left. I've got about 12 man-made mead glasses left. So if you'd like to order one of these, also on my website, I'll get these shipped out as soon as I can. But I got about 12 left and I'm not doing another run of them because uh, they were kind of expensive. So I know that these are going to be expensive as well with shipping and things. So I apologize. It's just I, I'm a one man operation. I don't have the same budget as everybody else. So you're supporting the channel when you do it. But if you'd like a man-made mead glass, feel free to click that as well. Get yourself a mead making flow chart, download the file, share it with your friends. I hope you will help me get this out here and get this out in the world as a resource for people to 
be able to understand mead and mead fermenting and the whole process easier. So find those links below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future. Cheers. Thank you.